Hello guys. So this is a uh, problem number two now. So it's asked that what is the limit value of the limit uh, summation of k from zero to n to n choose k one by four to the power n. So you can do this problem in two different ways. Okay, you can do this problem in two different ways. Uh, the uh, the real uh, beauty lies in a probabilistic approach. So you can just directly compute it in a, like using the properties of common order x over here. Like two n choose k is equal to n choose two n minus k, and you can do it, and you can find you have to find the limit, okay? But the real idea of uh, like the real beauty of this problem, that's why you may think that the question is a bit long, but the real beauty of the questions lies in this small small stuff, okay? So what we will use that we will uh, try to convert this problem into a problem of a central limit theorem, okay? So let's see how we have done it. Uh, so how you can do it? So to uh, k from zero to n two n choose k By into one by four to the power n um, is actually follow. Observe it's actually this is actually binomial two n comma half ka uh, x equal to k ka probability. Okay, so essentially this value is actually probability x less than equal to n where x follows binomial two n uh, comma half. So if you just uh, use the central limit theorem x minus expression of x by variance of x, if you do that, it sees less than equal to zero is coming out. Okay, uh, just by since expression of x is equal to Uh, n by two, uh, yeah, uh, it's equal to n by two. I think there are some errors over here. Mm. Expect oh yeah, expectation of x is equal to n. Yeah, sorry, expectation of x is equal to n uh, because two n is e times half. Uh, so yeah, so therefore it's minus this by variance of it's less than equal to zero. So by central limit theorem, this uh, x can be written as summation of Bernoulli's, right? So it goes to phi of zero, which is equal to half. So that's the value of the limit. So you use the central limit theorem to the fullest, and we will see such beautiful, beautiful, small, small stuff that we have all used in this question paper. Uh, I think it's one of the most beautiful question paper of the in the past IITs because of this small stuff that is used. Okay, uh, various intricate stuff are used, and that's why sometimes you may have thought that it's actually a lengthy question paper. It's actually not a lengthy question paper. It's just Uh, you need to know the very intricate stuff of statistics and probability. Okay, so I see you in the next question again. Uh, this is in the next problem three. Uh, until then, stay tuned and stay blessed. Yep. Bye.